Now weather with meteorologist Matt Hefner, certified by Weather 8 for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks, seven years in a row. Well, Matt, a much, much cooler weekend, but we still have some high temperatures. I mean, we'll get up there. We're not going to hit 80 degrees or anything this weekend, though, you think? Uh, I think we have a chance to hit 80 later on this week. We're actually going to start to warm up over the next couple of days. I know a lot of people are excited to hear that because some people are already missing summer. It's crazy, right? You get a little taste of fall blast and some people are wishing they had summer. It's going to feel like that in the next couple of days because we're going to start to warm up. Temperatures right now, low 70s, and those winds switched to the northwest, which kept the temperature today just a couple of degrees cooler than what we experienced yesterday. And take a look at the Hy-Vee weather cam. You can notice the trees are still green. We're really not beginning to see that major turn. We're not at peak fall yet. And that's kind of because of that warm start that we had to October. That warm start that we had to the end of September kind of delayed that fall color. We can expect those leaves to start train changing very soon. Now, the important thing with the weather this week and the next couple days, you got to pay attention to the winds because every day they're going to be doing something different. Right now we have those winds out of the northwest, but when we get in tonight, they're going to switch to a more southerly direction, which is going to help us get warmer temperatures on Tuesday. Look at this. Tuesday afternoon, we're talking about gusts that can be 10 to some places 15 miles per hour. And then when we get into Wednesday, those gusts are really, really going to ramp up and pick up, which can bring even warmer temperatures. We're talking the chance of hitting 80 on Wednesday. Gusts of 26, 25 miles per hour for just about everyone here into the Ozarks. Very fast wind system. And it's all because of a low pressure system that's going to be moving and making its way into the Ozarks. But right now, we are under high pressure. It's very quiet. It's very calm. Taking a look at satellite radar, you can notice two areas of low pressure, two very strong systems. This first swirl that you can notice right up here, just above Michigan, which has brought some snow chances to places in Canada. The second one I want to highlight is all the way off in the coast. You see this swirl right here? This guy is going to be bringing rain chances into the Ozarks to round out your work week. But until then, we're going to stay dry, and we're definitely going to be staying dry tonight. Those temperatures are going to be in the lower 40s. We have another cool night here in the Ozarks. We've been experiencing those cool nights and that's going to stay the case for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to warm up, uh, be closer to those mid 70s. Plenty of sunshine over in the area and something else that's going to be happening is a warm front's going to be pushing through the area Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Now that's going to bring those winds, that's going to bring warmer temperatures and it's also going to bring chances of rain I think just north and outside of, air, of our area. Very light rain that's going to be coming. Wouldn't expect a whole lot of it and most of that rain's going to be missing us completely. We're just getting that windy conditions and those warmer temperatures on the back side of it. You can see the rain outlook. Maybe some people in the north uh, of our viewing can see a little bit of sprinkles, but the majority of us, we're going to stay dry on Tuesday. Don't expect a whole lot out of it. But when we switch to five days, this is when rain's going to be coming. This is when we're talking about rain that's going to be returning to the Ozarks. I think for most of us, when we talk about the system, it's going to be pushing at the end of the week. We're looking at around a quarter, if that. I think places to the south be lucky to see a tenth. And this is all because we're going to get this pattern change in the jet stream. Right now we have this fall air that's been bringing those fall temperatures. That's going to move back and out of our way. And we're going to get this summer warmth for the next couple days before this low pressure system is going to push and pull its way into the Ozarks, which is going to start to bring some rain chances here in our area. Now, what are the temperatures going to do? I told you on Wednesday it's going to be getting warmer. Looking at 80 on Wednesday, 79 on Thursday. That rain's going to be coming in Thursday afternoon. And on the back side of that, going to have a very cold weekend. Guys? All right. Thanks, Matt.